Give me a minute. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's start from scratch, shall we? What's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. I hope you are all doing well. I hope you are all good. We are starting off today's video with a push session. No, pull session. Starting off with deadlifts for reps. Worse than cardio, am I right or am I right, okay? So we are smashing this session in the home gym today. I hope you are smashing whatever it is that you are doing, whether you're smashing a certain amount of steps today, whether you're smashing a certain amount of push-ups today, sit-ups today, all of the above. If you're doing 10 friggin' air squats, I don't care. Just please be doing something. Stay active, stay happy, stay healthy. It's what goes on in here that is the most important thing, okay? We can cope without biceps. If this doesn't work, if this isn't healthy, that's no good. So do something. Keep yourself up, keep yourself about, keep yourself active. And as I said in the last video, I'll do everything I can to make sure that you guys can do that. So, drop this video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, stick around. I'm still out of breath. Let's get started. I'm committing to this big time. Um, people at the end of the day would kill to be in my position. Um, they would kill to have the home gym, they would kill to still be able to train. Um, you know, I have friends that essentially have aspirations of being professional bodybuilders. You know, they're going to extreme lengths even now to kind of stay on track as much as they possibly can. Um, and so it would be stupid, it would be freaking criminal of me to, to not stay on track. I don't have the excuse. At the end of the day, I've got little niggles in my wrist. I've got, you know, a little bit of elbow pain, a little bit of lower back pain, but nothing that no one else already has, you know? And so if you've had to change your goals, just know that this is a temporary phase. This, is a te this, this isn't gonna be forever, this isn't. And so what you have to do in the meantime is stay active, stay healthy, and keep your mind right. Whether that's through doing like little classes that anyone else does online, doing something that, following something that I'm gonna end up putting out there, I don't know. I, I'm motivated as shit to commit to myself and to commit to keeping you guys on track. I feel a certain um, responsibility with the position that I'm in now with the home gym. I can still keep pumping out that fitness content. I can still keep track of my goals. I can still essentially, if I'm not lazy, hit what I want to hit. And so I feel the responsibility because I put myself out there on social media and because you know, you guys voluntarily click that subscribe button and stuff like that. It's it's a weird feeling and it's a it's a bit of a, a funny one to be honest because it, it I, I don't know it it makes me feel weird because I just I need to I see I don't even know how to say this. As I said in the last video, I, I know how it feels. I know how it feels to to be forced out of of, of what you love 
involuntarily. You know, I didn't pick up those injuries as a kid on purpose. It just happened. It's part of sport. You can get injured doing a bench press. You can tear a pec. You can, like, I don't know, bruise something and it sets you out of, of, of training, you know? So, I know, I know what it feels like. I know how it is to, to be forced out of doing what you love. As a kid, I, I was heavily, and I mean heavily involved in sport. I did a lot of sport. If anything was in um, season, I played it. And so when I had these injuries, I was forced out of it. And I had to do little things to kind of keep my mind occupied. And um, to be honest, those things were actually suggested to me um, by my family, you know, my, they were like, why don't you try and, why don't you practice that, you know? My mum would suggest something, my dad would suggest something, and then eventually, I just kind of became hooked on these ideas. I was like, right, I can't focus on that, so I'm gonna focus on this. And so if you can adjust your, your mindset towards the whole situation, I know it's way easier said than done, and it's easy for me to say, stood from my, my home gym right now, where I've just, you know, I, I'm doing a pool session and, and things are going great. But there's things going on in my life that will affect me and my motivation and my training and all this kind of stuff. But we won't go into that. There's bigger problems going, going on in, in, in the world than that. Um, and so what I want to do throughout this kind of next phase of, of everybody's lives is keep them on track with whatever it is that they want to do or whatever it is that their, their, their goal is. I feel a responsibility because I put myself out there to keep people happy. That's what I want to do with this. I say, how much, how often have I said it recently? I want this place to be where people can come and share their thoughts, whether it's happy, whether it's sad. I want them to feel, feel like they can come here and share it. I feel like I want them to feel like they can come here and escape if, if they feel like crap about not being able to go to the gym. That's perfectly understandable. There is nothing wrong with that. And I want them to be able to come here and escape that for a little while. Maybe they can, I don't know, put this video on and just, uh, I, I don't know. I, 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 I just want to do, feel a responsibility um, to, to stay on track myself and motivate you guys in, in the meantime. Um, because I do, I, I understand. I, I can't really get it across without, I don't know, I, I don't know. I, I can't get it across without just saying it bluntly. You know, I've been out from, from sport um, granted, I had no interest in the gym at the time, but you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't play my sports in the same way that you guys can't go to the gym. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't do anything. Okay, pick yourself up some dumbbells, pick yourself up some uh, a kettlebell, put yourself up, I don't know, a freaking backpack with some rocks in it. I, I don't know, I don't care. Um, just do something, please, because. It, it, it will help, you know, it will help you. And if you want to learn to juggle like I did, then hey, well, do that too. I mean, I'll, I'll credit you for that because flipping heck, it took me ages. I was out for, I think the longest time was about six months and that was when I um, learned to do the Rubik's Cube and I learned to do the Rubik's Cube, twisted it, I actually got it in a minute and f like 41 seconds I solved the Rubik's Cube, which is not fast, but you know, I was only about 12, 13, so. You guys get the point. I, I want to. I, I want to. I want to help. Um, I just don't quite know how yet. So put your suggestions uh, in the comments, and I will do uh, whatever I can um, because I feel feel like I should, you know. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to stick to my goals. I'm going to stick to my dates. I'm going to hit it, and I'm going to make you guys proud and make you think, hmm, smashed it. Together we all grow. Right, on with the session.
One thing I would really recommend is, I know I'm really biased, but definitely, definitely pick up bits like this. The protein cookies, the brownies, and all that kind of stuff. Um, in this time, you're going to need as much protein products as you can possibly get. I know I have a code, Liam, you're just trying to sell your code. Yes, I am, because that's my job, kind of, for them to promote it. But... When you're not going to be training and you want to maintain as much muscle mass as you possibly can, protein is going to be key for doing that. It's as simple as that. There's no two ways about it. You need to almost overemphasize your protein intake. I would up it by 10, 20 grams. Or it depends on how much you have in the first place. That's a stupid thing to say. I take that back. But just focus on it a little bit more than you perhaps usually would. It should benefit you. Well, you can't really go wrong with it, can you, to be fair? So, um, I have actually been drawing up some ideas as to how I can get you guys involved as much as possible, keep you guys um, as motivated as possible and all this kind of stuff. Um, I, I have some ideas that I want to do, you know, I want to give you guys some incentives, I want to do giveaways for, for maybe challenges, competitions, stuff like that. It was actually suggested by some of you guys, so um, obviously I'm going to take on your suggestions as to how you actually want to be motivated, if that makes any sense in any way, shape or form. But I promise you, I will do everything in my power to stay on track and I will do everything in my power to keep you guys on track okay we're in this together together we will grow so whatever I decide to put on the title in the title whether it's shredded or just lean or whatever I'm probably gonna put shredded because you know gotta get them views dull okay you feel me you guys uh, you guys know you understand um, you understand that the titles and all those kind of stuff um, so hopefully you look at it slightly light-heartedly you know um, I will be doing videos on um, well actually I'm not gonna tell you because I've noticed that if I talk about my potential ideas miraculously all the people that kind of do a similar thing to me wind up making those videos before I actually get the chance to so I'm gonna keep my ideas to myself um, but I have some ideas as to how I can get you guys involved and you can stay tuned for the videos um, forthcoming for that and um, thank you for your support thank you for sticking with me throughout this time you guys sticking around especially through a time like this um, actually really helps me out as well um, more than you would uh, think um, your guys messages and positivity positivity that you give um, back to me is, uh, is is greatly appreciated we all need a bit of that in our lives right now so Thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please do me a favor, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Stick around to see me getting shredded, you know? I don't know how lean I'm gonna get, but I'm, I'm definitely gonna commit to it. I'm very excited to see how I will look in the 150s, um, in the 159, or potentially below now, I'm not too sure. We shall see, we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Comment down below something you are grateful for, something you are thankful for, something you are happy about. Let's have some good news in the comment section down below. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Together, we will grow.